Hi, I'm Carol, and I worship at Zion Lutheran Church. A long time ago, when we had church in the sanctuary, I saw a bunch of you. Like Anderson, and Cannon, and Kalen, and Jack, and I always enjoyed seeing you guys worship. It was fun worshiping with you. And today you caught me thinking about superheroes. Do you know superheroes? Just take a minute and think about them. They have extraordinary powers, don't they? Just stop for a second. Get some paper. It doesn't have to be a big sheet like this. Just get a piece of paper and a marker or a pencil or some crayons and draw a superhero. Draw what you think a superhero looks like. Is it going to be a boy hero or a girl hero? Can it shape shift? Is it extraordinarily fast? Can your superhero see through walls? Superheroes have a lot of extraordinary powers. I bet your superheroes are going to be amazing and wonderful. Now let me show you what I think a superhero might look like. I'm not the world's best drawer, but I think you'll get the idea. So my superhero looks kind of like this. I'm thinking it's a very active, eager, smart girl. I think she has beautiful eyes and I think she uses her eyes to observe and see what's going on in the world and I think she has a big smile because I think she's happy with who she is and where she is. Now there's something else about my superhero that I think is kind of interesting. See what you think. I gotta find just the right color. I think I'm gonna use this one. My superhero surrounds herself with people that are also strong and healthy and kind people, kind of like you guys. Maybe people like Gideon and Solomon and Scarlet. People that have big hearts filled with love and a smart brain that lets them use their love to help other people. Now there's something else about my hero that's very interesting. She wasn't an ordinary hero. She wore a crown. Because she was a queen. Do you know who I'm talking about yet? You're right. I'm talking about Esther. She was that queen that Miss Jamie told us about and that we talked a little bit about, have talked a little bit about at other times. She had a big heart too. She loved the Lord and she cared about her people. She had a good voice and she used her voice to save her people. She took some chances, but she knew the right thing to do was to speak up. So she saved her people. Now there's one other thing that, well, there's many other things that this queen did, but there's something else that I wanna tell you about today. When this queen was at a place where she wasn't sure what to do, 
where she wasn't sure if her powers were super enough to make the right decision or to do the right thing. She got down on her knees and she prayed to God. She asked for God's guidance. And when she did that, she was able to summon up all of her bravery and all of her courage and make a big difference in the world. You know what? You guys can do that too. It doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy, if you're big or little, if you're super strong or just getting stronger. With God's help, you can make the world a better place. In fact, you already have made the world a better place. I like being with you. You're my superpowered friends. And so is this woman. Do you remember her name? Esther. She was the queen who saved her people. That's a good story.